Web UI Overview. By the end of this training, you'll be able to log in to the Web UI and describe the functionality of each tab. The Web UI is a web application, so you'll need a browser if you want to use it properly. And basically, it means that you're going to use a PC to connect over HTTPS to your Quantum Spark. And notice that by default, we don't use the classic port for HTTPS, but port 4434, but just because it's more secure this way. From this web UI, you'll be able to manage the device itself and configure the security policy. So unlike the classic architecture where you use the Gaia web UI only to manage Gaia as an operating system, when you're using Quantum Spark, you're using the web UI to do both device configuration and security policy. These are the main tabs from within the web UI. So you have in home mainly overviews, device, this is mainly device configuration like IP addresses, network addresses, upgrades and so on. Things related to the access policy, the threat prevention policy, VPN connections, if it's site to site or from a client or from an application user and objects, and finally, logs and monitoring. If you're ever feeling lost from the home page, under overview, you have the sitemap. In the sitemap, you have all the different links simply laid out, so you can easily find whatever it is you want to do. And of course, you can always just go to the previous page and search for the option you want. But some people like this display, so it's here as well if you prefer it. For this demonstration, you will need connectivity to your Quantum Spark, and you'll need to know the credentials of the appliance so you'll be able to log in and do your stuff. Here's my appliance, so I'm currently at the home page. So here under system, I see the system information, my version, the device name, the MAC address, my uptime network i can see that i do have the internet connected i'm currently connected over cellular this is my ip address wireless networks are turned off in this case i have dual channels the watchtower mobile app currently i'm still i still haven't set it up but i can set it up from here uh, network activity here below notifications so for example earlier today i've set up a test so I see the malicious file was indeed blocked. Security dashboard. I can see the different blades. I can see that they're enabled and I can go ahead and modify them from here. Security management. So we'll talk about this in a different lesson, but currently my device is locally managed, meaning I'm managing everything straight from this box, from the web UI, but I can go ahead and change central and then it means I'll manage this box from a security management server. Here, we can configure a cloud service provider that can handle your security policy and supply a variety of services. Yeah, I just read it from here. But in other words, for example, if you're using um, Spark management, you can set it up from here. And we'll do this in a later video. License. So you can see the services that I'm using my MAC address, my registration key, currently was activated automatically. So for example, a few months ago, I had to modify my license. So after I've modified my license, I've just clicked reactivate and it pulled information again and it got the update that I have a different license. Or of course you can do it offline as well. This is the sitemap that we've discussed earlier the monitoring tab so I can see the notifications, the active devices that are currently connected to my device, monitoring information. Okay, so I can see all of the different applications that were being used. So this is quite nice. I can see checkpoint IPsec. It's because my computer is connected over a VPN. So I have that traffic. Different reports. This is a really nice report that you can generate tools. We'll talk about this in a later video, but this is troubleshooting tools to get insights or to run diagnostic tools and support information. Moving on to device. So as we mentioned, this is where you manage the device from. So you have network settings, like for example, if you want to set up the wireless network, 
set up the local network. And we've discussed this in a previous video where you can go ahead and configure how the device will behave. Will it act as one big switch or as separate LANs? So you can customize it from here as well. System operations, you can go ahead and run upgrades, set up administrators, the administrator access, and you have lots of information here. Advanced routing, this is actually really, really, really cool. Certificates, high availability settings, and so on. Access policy, everything related to your security policy, but we'll discuss this in a later video. Threat prevention, everything related to threat prevention, for example, IPS, antivirus, antibot, threat emulation, they're all enabled and up to date, which is important. And I can see the policy that's being used. VPN. I currently don't have any VPN sites, but in the future, we'll set it up straight from here. Users and objects. So in a later video, we'll connect our Quantum Spark to Active Directory. So we'll be able to pull information about the organization from Active Directory. And finally, logs and monitor, which gives you great insights about what's going on within your organization. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.